Now it's time to put the battens in. Now on all Mania machines, you've got battens coloured red generally, which go on the left, and battens coloured green that go on the right. So I'll show you how to do these now. And take There's some slight differences between this aircraft and yours because the wing's different in the number of battens. But the principles are the same. You drop the battens down. Some owners number their battens, but you don't really need to because the principles are the longest goes to the middle. And you can see one, two, three, four, five. So you take the longest one, these are the left, and you like there, the second longest one, and you like there, the third longest one there, fourth longest one there, fifth longest one there. Then you go back and get six, seven, eight, nine. Main six, seven, eight, nine. Same principle, longest to the middle. So the next longest there, then there. Back and then the same. Oh, the right wing. Salut Dominique. Mm -hmm. Ça va? C'est école de montage. Ça va? Dominique, tu m'as bien? Oui. Et Gabriel, bonjour. Il est arrivé à l'autre ce matin. J'ai vu le démontage. Ok. S'il y a un truc très particulier, tu peux le démonter. C'est l'inverse, mais oui, c'est ça. Maintenant, donc, je suis sur le right wing, donc le principe est le même. Le plus grand pattern est le centre. Second on this, third on this, etc. Then back to the baton bay, and then six, seven, eight, nine. Six and eight, nine. Same again. Ignore the red one, that's because the previous owner had put a wrong colour ending. So you take the longest and you continue. Six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, the others for the moment I ignore. Mm -hmm. I leave those there, and I'll go back and I'll stop putting the battens in. <coughs> you can pull the battens in together. Yeah. You can pull the battens in using the cord. You can see the batten pocket there, not in the trailing edge. You put the end of the batten in, and then you pull steadily, and you will feel resistance when it goes over the cross tube. <coughs> on, on va sentir uh, résistance quand ça, ça passe le, la transversale. Oui. Comme ça. Tu vois? And then the second one here, you'll feel the resistance as normal. So, and you can see it starts to give the air force shapes the wing. On voit le début du profil de de l'air avec les lattes. Parce qu'il y a beaucoup de gens qui ne savent pas d'abord comment, euh, comment monter une aile mm -hmm. et d'abord comment faire euh, les deuxième places, comment monter euh, tout ça. Dominic just uh, asked uh, then about you know doing anything to help. Uh, so most people don't know how to rig a wing nowadays, and even fewer know how to do it on your own. Uh, yeah. Which, if you can't rig it on your own, you can't go flying on your own. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so with, all I'm doing now is carrying on out to the trading edge. Now here you've got two cords, two cords above and two cords below. Il y a deux cordelettes uh, là et deux là. Une fois tu passes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, il y a deux, il y a deux, deux fois les cordelettes. Cordelettes Cordelettes. Cordelettes. Oui. Cordelette. À cause du, du profil. Euh, voilà, parce qu'il y a la, la surface la qui, 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 euh, qui arrive euh, qui rejoint, euh, voilà, euh, la à la voie de fuite. Exactement. Oui, oui, c'est bien compris. I've made no attempt to tension anything up yet. I'm just putting everything in place. Je n'ai pas essayé de de tendre quelque chose de mettre la tension. J'ai juste mis les les lattes en place. Je passe. Après, on fait le
and just, and just push the buttons in as far as I go without forcing, and you'll see later on, I will tension the wing and then release it, because that tends to settle the sail, so the buttons will go in further when I want to actually tension put the cords on. Because okay. at the moment you're no doubt wondering how it's possible to get the cords on, because they're all poking not a foot at the back of the wing. Hmm. Now there's a little tool in the bag here. You can see that on it. You can see that. Wait. What do you call it? Voilà. Wonderbar. <laughs> okay, you can start with no matter which wing, we'll start with the left wing, and you take the underneath cord, can you see? Yeah. The underneath cord, you hook it in there, that one there, like a shoe, like a shoe on, like that, yeah. and look, off. Then the second one, and so on. You can push them in with your knee, like so, so that suddenly uh, went in. Sure. No, there. Si elles deviennent uh, trop difficiles, on peut tendre temporairement l'air. Oui, oui, on va essayer quand même. Le bout passe devant le bord d'attaque oui. dans le tuyau. C'est haut de snow, c'est haut de snow. Oui, c'est haut de snow. Ici, on pousse maintenant avec le nez. Donc, ça va aller. Bottom cord, on. Top cord. Et ils sont plus serrés vers le bout ça. Oui, parce que le tissu est moins long, est moins Voilà, il y a moins, oui, exactement. Oui. Oh, il y a moins de tissu. Ça. Oui. So. If they get really tight, you can do that. And if they get really impossible, you can just tension the wing up temporarily to settle the sail down. So. On la, la tension là. Qu'est-ce que je vais faire parce que c'est très serré. Comment faire Juste temporairement, temporarily, just gonna tension, just pull the side up. So. Right, so. And just let it go again. Yeah, it just settles the sail down. Yeah. Après normalement c'est plus facile pour euh, les lettres. Oui. Now the double, uh, now the double cords. And then it's only double cordlet, cordlet. On fait comme ça, pareillement. Tu prends les deux. Tu peux faire en même temps ou uh, séparément. Mais au dessus, tu fais une à la fois. Oh, uh, the, the top one, you do one at a time. Okay. One. And you take the, the second one. Le tissu est plus dur en extra dose qu'en oui. extra dose Voilà. Euh, non, ça dépend comment c'est réglé. Ah oui, d'accord. Mais il est moins tendu en extra dose. Mais ça dépend comment c'est réglé. One. Two. Two. Afterwards, I'll go down and count them all and check them that they're all done. And that's one of the things we check on the pre-flight checks, if you recall. Après, je vais compter que si elles sont toutes faites. Et tu vois, c'est un des trucs qu'on contrôle quand on fait les prévoles aussi. Oui. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Après, on fait pareil de ce côté. Afterwards, we do the same on the other side, just the same. This one doesn't really go in, so I'm going to try to shoot them in there. That one really doesn't want to go in. Oh, there you go. That's it. 
If it doesn't, then you can continue with the others and come back to it afterwards. Okay. As it happened, it suddenly went in. Lucky for this. <laughs> C'est pareil que l'autre côté, très serré là. Oui. That's the same as the other side, it's very tight that one, so I'm going to leave that just for a sec. I'm just going to take it off a bit with the knot end. I'll leave that for a second. It's very tight at the moment, but I'll try the others first. Quand tu règles une voile, tu, la, la, la tension, tu règles la longueur des ficelles. Ah oui, exactement, oui. Mais ça, c'est un truc que tu ne fais pas toi-même. Non. Ça, c'est moi uniquement qui fais ça. Que de cette manière. Voilà. Mais sérieusement, ça peut tuer. Ah oui, si c'est mal réglé. Nearly finished. That's what, what takes the time, Gabriel, when you're rigging a wing. Is that it? Yeah? Is this. Okay. It does take a bit of time. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 